John Silva. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Mr. Silva, you have one, two, three, you have four red light violations and one speeding violation. Is there anything you want to tell me about this? The reason why I came here because I have to go get double knee surgery tomorrow. And I just wanted to see if I can pay at the first of next month because I have to go to three weeks rehab. Okay. Well, let's, let's I'm willing to pay. Let's see how much it is first, okay? Yeah. All right. All right. Are, you work are you working? No, I'm on uh, disability from the military. So tell me about your military career. Uh, I was in for like 14 years and I went to Desert Storm and I got injured over there. So I'm like... 85% uh, service connected disability. I'm death in this area. I got a couple of toes missing. They had to reattach my finger right here, but other than that, I'm doing good. Oh, that from being in the military? Yeah. And you were in Desert Storm? Yes. And you were in the military 14 years? Yeah. I would have stayed in 30. I loved it. What branch of the service were you in? Marine. Marine. Infantryman. Inspector Carrigan was in the Marines. Yeah. I I think I seen your show one time and he mentioned, he mentioned he was in the military with somebody. Yeah. What's wrong with your knee? I have to get them both replaced tomorrow. Is that service connected? Yes. Well, see, when, when I was in, they, they really didn't have the knee pad things going on too much. Well, we didn't use them that much. But now, as you see all the soldiers now, they got the pads on, the elbow pads, you know, everything. So my knees took a beating, like, like, like having to low crawl and, you know, getting down in the prone position. You know, he ought to know, but he knows about that. So my knees took a beating, you know. Over the years, they just kept getting worse and worse. So it's to the point now where I have to get them replaced. All right, Inspector Carrigan, you know how I feel about people come who served in the military, right? Yes. And so you know, you know which way I'm leaning on this, right? Yes. Okay. And I'm leaning the same way as you are, Your Honor. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you a strong admonition. I'm going to tell you, right? I'm going to tell you, slow down. Yeah, and there's one yes. Listen, listen you, you did your country honor. You served with distinction. You're not complaining. You said you stay in longer. You served in Desert Storm. Like the least, the least we can do in this court is give you a break. All right? Thanks. So I'm not going to put you on a payment plan. You know why I'm not going to put you on a payment plan? No. Because I'm not going to charge you. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. But what we're, going to, what we're going to do is, that, you know, this court receives letters from people all over the world, and many of those letters say, please, and they contain money, and it says, please help somebody who served in the military. And so those funds that we receive are called the Philomena Fund after my mother. Oh. So we have the Philomena Fund here. And so I'm going to, and none of this is going to go on your record. Okay. None Thank of you. it is going to go on your record. So, so I'm going to read the, the fines were $440. And I'm going to reduce the fine to $200. And we're going to pay the $200 from the Philomena Fund. So you're not going to have to pay oh, anything. Thank you. But you're going to go. I want to thank you for your service to this country. You're welcome. And I want to actually thank you for your great attitude. You didn't come in with a chip on your shoulder, you know. Yes. And I think the least we can do to honor you for, for your service to the country is give you a break. So I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't have to tell you this, but one of the things you have to do after you get a break here is sometime in the future, you have to help somebody else, right? I definitely will. I'm sure you will. You, I will. You've already done your part helping all of us mm -hmm. by your service to the military. Definitely will. How do you feel about that, Inspector Carrigan? Completely agree, Your Honor. Okay, it'll be two hundred dollars paid for from the Philomena Fund. Good luck to you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Just wait. Yeah.